Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'll take you through how I painted this retro Minotaur's Space Marine from the Batter War. So over a wide scar undercoat, I'm going to begin by applying Magma Droth Flame Contrast, one of the new uh, contrast paints 2.0 from Games Workshop. And uh, that's just going to be straight from the pot for this. And as you can see, just working my way up as I want to get a really smooth transition with this base coat. So with the contrast paint now dry, I'm going to be moving on to Uriel Yellow. Now for this, it's just a striped design all across the power armor. Well, most of the power armor. And I should mention that initially I did make a mistake on the how the stripe design actually goes onto the power armor. Now I have decided to leave that in and then I'm going to show you how I ended up correcting that. So as you can see here, I bring the stripe design down, however it is meant to curve a little bit and then meet at the top of the power armor. So when it comes to correcting that, I am just going to be using Troll Slayer Orange and then fixing up those lines. So as you can see, I'm just highlighting the left foot with Uriel Yellow. However, I won't be highlighting the right foot with Uriel Yellow. So as you can see for the stripe at the top, that's how I'm going to want to correct all of the stripes for the power armor, and I'll be getting to that in just a moment.
So as you can see, I've just layered that a few times just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And now I'll be moving on to correcting those stripes. So as you can see, I have corrected those stripes. I did have to go over them a few times just using that Troll Slayer Orange. And now I'm just gonna show you how I run those stripes around the Power Armor correctly. So just using uh, my Raphael 8404 size zero for this, and just trying to get a really smooth transition from top to bottom uh, with those stripes being slightly, slightly curved. So as you can see, just smoothing out those yellow lines with some Troll Slayer Orange. And you can also see that the stripe design just follows around in a nice smooth transition all around the power armor. And of course the same will apply for the shoulder pad and on the arms as well. So with the power armor now completed, I'm going to be moving on to Black Legion Contrast and applying that all over the bolt gun and as well for the Ospex and the pouches as well. And for the Ozbex screen, I decided just to use Aldari Emerald straight from the pod. Now for the backpack, I did weigh out my options, uh, however after really looking into the image that was available for this color scheme, I decided that Rune Lord Brass would be the closest that I could get to that color. So I'm just going to be applying that liberally all over the backpack.
So I'll just give that backpack a little while to dry and I'll move on to shading that. And for the chapter symbol, I decided to just go with Cantor blue as that was the closest blue I could find to the chapter symbol. And now I'm just going to be doing the outline and then of course filling in the Minotaur's head. Uh, filling that with the color, I should say. Now some of these older retro Space Marine chapter symbols almost have a sort of like a bit of a cartoonish sort of vibe to them. So for the outline of the Minotaur, I wasn't really trying to make it uh, look realistic by any means. So once again with this, just using my Raphael 8404 size 0. As I uh, definitely wanted to get this right the first time as correcting um, the yellow and orange over this sort of darker blue would have been quite difficult. So with all of those steps now done, I decided to shade with Magma Droth Flame Contrast and Contrast Medium for the backpack. As I really wanted to tie it in with the rest of the power armor and still get a, a really sort of vibrant uh, effect on that. So just applying that into the recesses mostly. And then I'll move on to highlighting this once it's dry.
And now for the lenses, I decided to do a base coat of Mephiston Red. And just a single highlight of Wild Rider Red. However, I wasn't happy with um, how the lenses were looking here, so I will be going back to my um, black, Vallejo black, and just correcting that and then going over it again. And then of course, as always, just finishing off my lenses with a small white dot just at the back of the lens. And for the tongue and the nostrils of the chapter symbol, I'm just going to be going back to Wild Rider Red for this. So as you can see, just small dots for the nostrils, and then I'm just going to be painting the tongue as well. And now for the, just at the top of the head, at the center of the horns, I'm just going to be using some Screaming Skull. And just some Uriel Yellow again for the eyes.
And just to finish off the eyes, just some small black lines. Uh, any black acrylic paint will do just fine. And for the Auspex screen, I decided just to do some white highlights across that. So just some small white dots and then just some really fine white highlights over the Aldari Emerald as, uh, in my opinion, the Aldari Emerald, even just on its own, looked really cool. However, I just wanted to bring it all out a little bit more. So just adding some small effects there. And um, with my white, uh, Dead White by Vallejo, really thinned down as well. And just to begin base coating all of the metallics that remain, I decided to go with Thrash Metal by Scale 75 as a base coat. So as you can see, it's all come together really nicely at this point. So I decided to do something a little bit different from how I would normally shade uh, the the gunmetal, so I've decided to go with Snakebite Leather Contrast and Medium, Contrast Medium, 50-50. And I'm just going to begin shading over all of the uh, remaining metallics, uh, but certainly not the backpack. So for all of the pouches and for the rubber as well, I'm just going to be highlighting all of that with German Grey. And just to finish off highlighting, so all of the metallics, and this includes the backpack as well, and this is what will really bring it out, I'm just going to be doing some highlights of Stormhose Silver all around.
And here are some photos of the completed Retro Minotaurs Space Marine. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting today. If you did, leave a like, share it with some friends, and leave a comment below of a Space Marine chapter or just a painting tutorial in general that you might like to see me do next. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon.